Podcast by Kate Fletcher. Today's video is a haul video. I'm going to be showing you items that I've purchased from Hunky Dory, eBay and Printable Heaven. So the first thing I got a few weeks ago, um, but it wasn't enough for a video really, I got these off of um, eBay and they are really adorable buttons with sewing machines on. I got 24 for a pound and then I paid $1.99 post and packaging I think it was but aren't they gorgeous I've already sent some of these out in friend mail to somebody who I know will love them um and yeah I just thought they were really really cute the lady I think is doing a bit of a de-stash she had other ones as well um, but I just grabbed those for the time being but there was a note on the post that said if you were buying more than one item she'd be happy to combine postage so if anyone is wanting some of these just have a look on eBay because it just popped up really easily the next thing I have done is a printable heaven order I don't shop there a lot um, maybe once or twice a year so when I do I do quite a big order and I find it quite hit and miss um, like what turns up to compared to what you think you're getting some of it I'm happy with some of it I'm really disappointed with so I'm just going to go through it with you the first thing I got and I am happy with these are some glitter and confetti dispenser pots and they have got glitter and confetti in I thought they were really, really cute and they were really inexpensive as well. They were like one ninety nine each. So I got two because I am planning to do um, something for um, a road two. I just haven't decided what the road two is. <laughs> I haven't picked a number yet, um, but there will be something going alongside that so I figured I'd grab some bits while I was shopping so I've got these dispensers here so I'm going to have one for me and put the other one aside but I think they are really really cute and they'll be great for Christmas projects as well they're very very Christmassy so I've picked those up then I saw this um, little die now I do need to check this cut as well because I have found that occasionally the printable heaven dies don't cut brilliantly well um, but I haven't tested this yet but it's some little baubles and I thought just for a really quick simple Christmas card that would be really quite effective so I've got those then I've got this doily die now I have been wanting a doily die for a long long time I think I've spoken about it on my channel before about how I wanted one and I saw this X cut one and it was a really good price so I couldn't really resist haven't cut it yet I've literally just got it out of the box um but I'm looking forward to playing with that it looks really really pretty it's like a big sunflower so I have that and do you know the one thing they are really good for at printable heaven is their x cut dies and the x cut deals so have a look because they have some huge reductions like there's some stuff less than half price I think I saw so it's worth looking um but right, then I got these little ladybirds how cute are they again I thought these would be good for friend mail um they will work with my cottage garden collection um pocket letter stuff you know there's so many uses for these so I've grabbed those and I think they are super duper cute um Right, these next two items I am disappointed with. I thought what I was getting was going to be kind of the size of the sewing machines. It was described as like a confetti bag, which should have been a bit of a giveaway. But the photos looked bigger on the website. So this is their, what was it, confetti bag of citrus fruits or something but it's literally it's smaller than confetti I would say so a bit disappointed with that and I got the Christmas one as well and again I'd say that's even smaller than confetti but it was like a grab bag I think they'd put it up as 
and their pitch has made it look more like those sewing machines than what this is so live and learn i'm sure i'll use it just a little bit disappointed with those two then i saw these now these i'm not disappointed with because look how beautiful these are so these were described as um half pearls which they are and i don't know if you can see but they are um ombre and they are purples into blues and they're beautiful um there does seem to be a lot of really tiny ones in there but do you know i know i'm going to use these i mean these are going to work so well with that um kanban ballroom selection i got just just that and i know these are going to be well used so i am fairly happy with those and i think they are beautiful then i saw these and i thought i'd get some more i got a pack of these from hobbycraft when i started my scrapbook and i've used up um a lot of really good letters so these were quite cheap and i thought i'd get some more so that i've at least got hopefully um the letters i need as and when i decide to spell something out I don't think you get as many as I got from Hobbycraft, but I'm sure there's enough there that I'll have a restock on letters. Then I got these. Again, I'm quite disappointed with how many you get because I thought they were going to be bigger and I thought you got more. But, you know, they were quite cheap. Now, I thought these would look great on cards. Um, I had some on my wedding invitations when I made those and they were bigger. Um, and they weren't like this they were different um i'm sure i'll be able to thread ribbon through that but these are so tiny <laughs> they're not what i thought so no i'm kind of half disappointed and half pleased i'm, I'm undecided with those then i saw these and Again, they're flat back pearls, they're iridescent, they're really, really pretty. You don't get as many as in that pack. Um, but, you know, I'm sure they will come in handy. I think they're really cute. Then this is actually whiskey bottles. Um, they are one twelfth size. And the reason I got these is I have a doll's house and I mean a obscene doll's house that I got at, it's almost like a charity shop without being a charity shop. Um, but I got it there last year and my intention is to do it up um, and the whiskey bottles will work really well in the doll's house. Um, I think there's some stickers in there that you can stick on the whiskey bottles. So although it's not craft related, I may well put a bit of a history or a, a time lapse or something. I don't know. There might be something appear on the channel on the doll's house as and when I get around to doing it. But I just thought I'd show you those as well. Then I got this little stencil. It's quite cute it's 13 centimeters by 13 centimeters i think so i have that one might work quite well with that die then they had these two stamp sets by dovecraft and again these were really good value so i was kind of thinking this one for me and this one as an aside um but yeah they're really nice stamp sets i've seen them hauled before obviously they're not a new thing and because they were a good price i was like wait well i will have those then i saw these really cute little charms these are like bumblebees i think i hope it's focusing but i thought again they'd work with cottage garden they're nice just to send out in the back of a pocket letter or something I thought they were really cute and they were quite inexpensive so I thought I'd have a few of those. Then I saw these snowflakes and I thought they were quite pretty. I've got something similar but these kind of look a bit materially, materially is that a word? It is now. 
uh, <laughs> but they're quite iridescent work quite nice with those pearls probably so i've grabbed those and then i saw these owls now i am happy with these these are the size i thought they were going to be and how cute are they so i've got a few little owls to use on various things i've grabbed some simply creative pearls in two different sizes again they will be put aside then i got these now these were classed as butterfly beads and i actually thought they were going to be bigger um i don't know whether i just didn't read it properly so they look a bit like sweets to me <laughs> so these uh, are definitely going to have to be stored somewhere extremely safe they're quite cute um and again they'll work with cottage garden they can go in friend mail so and so forth but they're just a bit smaller than i thought they were going to be so live and learn about reading descriptions and then i got these santoro stickers now these are color me in stickers so they've got a little bit of color on them but you color them in and i see a lot of people haul santoro santoro whatever it's called so I thought I would get them and put them aside um, and yeah, decide what to do with those at a later date. But I grabbed those. Then I had two packs of these. They are double sided sticky pads. Always good to have in the stash and you get 320 in there. I'm running out of room so I'm going to put those to the side. Then I saw these trees. Now I have a smaller version of that and that's what I thought I was buying. So I was quite shocked to see how big these were. We've gone the other way now. I've been saying things are too small and now I'm going, wow, look at these. These are huger than I thought. Um, yeah, so I'm quite pleased with these, to be honest. Pleasantly surprised by the side because I actually thought they were going to be smaller and probably chunkier. So they're quite nice and um, I think they'd work quite well with the It's Snow Time collection that I bought last year. Um, and yeah, there's loads you can do with those. So got some Christmas trees. Then I thought I deleted these off because I already had the big pack, but it turns out I hadn't. So they will be put aside. It's just more of the ladybugs. So they're going to be put aside. Then I saw these. Now I had some of these from the works years ago. And I'm pretty sure these are the ones I lost. So when I saw these I thought well, I'm going to grab those. Um, because I really like them. They're just little pearl hearts. They're really adorable. Um, and I did use them a lot. So I grabbed some of those. Then I saw this. How gorgeous is this? It was marked up as holographic cart and you get eight sheets. So let's open it and have a look at what's inside. So we have like the pinky one with the stars. We have two we have three of those then we have a green one which has like snowflakes and stuff on there is two of those then there's a yellow one which just has like round circles on which look a bit like really small sequins one of those and then i've no idea what color this is it's not well it's sort of ready orange if i hold it out of my light um but how awesome is that it's kind of like is it called starfish i think that's awesome and you get two of those in there so i stocked up on that because i really liked the look of it uh i actually got three packs of that and i might put one of those aside I saw some glitter card, which let's face it, is always handy to have. So again, I got two of these. So 
sorry for the rustling. I'm just opening one and we'll have a look at the colours. So we have, it's A4, two blue, two kind of mustardy gold, got two purple, two green, and two really pretty silvers. And it feels really nice and it's non-shed by the look of it because it's not, it's not coming off my hands. So I got two of those and again, I think I'm going to put one aside. If you're liking the look of some of this, definitely stay tuned to the channel and make sure you're a subscriber. That's all I'm going to say for now. Then I saw some more stencils. I thought that was absolutely gorgeous. So I had to have that one. I think that just on a card on its own will look gorgeous. Then I saw this one. Look at the size of this. I can't even fit it in. Can you imagine that just stenciled on a card? I mean, it's just beautiful. So I have that one. And then this is my favourite. Look at the size of that bauble. That is amazing. Um, I'm just going to grab a ruler so I can measure it for you. Okay, so let's have a little look. Put it on that bit there and go. So it's about seven inches. That is a really decent size. I don't know what the longest point is, is it out there? By about six and a half. So I've got loads of eight by eight cards that I bought a little while ago off of eBay. That will look amazing on them. So I'm really happy with that. And I like the script on the Merry Christmas. So I have that. And then I bought three of these. So they're A4 carry folders and I use these for storage. They've got the good popper on them. Um, I use them to store scraps. I use them when I've done loads of die cutting and I've put things in envelopes. I put the envelopes in these things to keep them all safe so now I can start labelling them so I know like what's where. But yeah, they're really, really handy. And these were so, so cheap. Um, you get four in there and they are in different colours. So I just thought they're really handy to have. And I grabbed three packs of those. And I think that's everything from Printable Heaven. There was a few more items, but um, I'm actually sending those out to someone and I don't want to ruin the surprise so I'm not going to show you everything <laughs> um, and then I have something from Hunky Dory to show you really quickly as well so Hunky Dory have just done their new members free gift release so it's not long since we had the last one which was Gardener's Paradise but they were celebrating their birthday and they've decided to launch this one. And there's been loads of discounts across their site and stuff. But this is the only thing I bought. Wow, look at that. I haven't actually looked too hard at um, what they've been saying or putting out about this. Because I like the surprise when it comes. So let's go through this together. Now, I was doing a series with the last one to see how many cards I could make out of the kit. I haven't quite finished that series yet, so I will get around to finishing it at some point. Um, but I thought I'd show you the new one anyway. So we have a topper sheet, which is absolutely beautiful. Look at that cake one. How beautiful is that? Let's eat cake. This is going to be so good. You could use this on male makes as well as female makes, but I think this is going to come in especially handy for those male makes. I think we all struggle with them. But look at these. How gorgeous. I love the colours. I love the foiling. God, I just love everything about these. Now, look at that the more candles the bigger the wish <laughs> that's brilliant i like that wishing you a big slice of happiness these are so good 
look at these. I have to say, I love Hunky Dory and I love that they do these members offers. So all you do is pay postage and they're super generous with what they give you. We've got, look at that. Wow, that's really lovely. Look, I like that one with the cake. These are brilliant. Wow, look at those champagne glasses. Can you imagine that just on a wedding card even? And now they're saying actually people can get married, don't they? They're just saying you can only have like 30 guests or something. So some of you might need to make wedding cards this year. Do you know what I need to make? I need to make a golf card in August and I've got no golf stuff. So if anyone knows where I can get some good golf stuff, please let me know in comments. I did look on Hunky Dory. I didn't see anything that quite ticked the boxes. I think I'm going to want to make a Twisted Easel card with it. Uh, so if anyone knows where I can get some good golfing paper craft items, please let me know. Look at that. I love that. <gasps> Look at all the candles and the pretty foiling. Wow. And then we're on to the one I saw when I first flipped it over and went, wow. I mean, isn't that just beautiful? So... That is my little haul video. So I hope you have enjoyed seeing the few bits and pieces that I've bought. As I say, do stay tuned to the channel because there is something coming that will be for subscribers only. And as soon as I've decided what my road is to, I shall let you all know. Um, I hope you are all well. And I hope you haven't been suffering too much with the heat wave we've been having. I have been loving the warmth just not when I'm trying to get the baby to sleep <laughs> um but I will be back soon with more videos thank you so much for watching today take care and I'll see you soon bye for now